The storm we had earlier this month was less of a problem for our roads, but caused some Amtrak cancellations. What about this time around for people traveling in places other than cars? Seth Kaplan live from the airport tonight. Hey, Seth, you look cold out there. I'm sorry. It is very cold and the wind is picking up. You know, Taylor took care of the automobiles. I'll tell you about the planes here at the airport in just a minute. But first, sort of completing that trifecta from the old John Candy, Steve Martin movie, uh, planes, trains, and automobiles, we headed over to the Amtrak station. Daddy's getting on the train. Daddy's getting on a train, he said. That's little Augie Harris and mom, Heather Harris. They're seeing me off. Seeing off dad, Nate Harris, who is indeed getting on a train. Off to New York City, a little work conference. And as far as you know, train running on time? I think so. Probably. I am very happy I'm not getting on a plane. No such luck for Samuel Wobnitz and his friends there trying to get to Air Force basic training. In San Antonio, but our flight got delayed. But, uh, we got to push back to the 6 a.m. flight tomorrow morning. Three hours early. That's how early Patty Montgomery got to HIA, hoping to avoid a problem. As long as I get to Charlotte, they're, they're all clear there. And then I got to land in Memphis, hopefully. I can land in Memphis because they got over a foot of snow. These folks got to the airport early enough to change from slushy outside shoes into dry airplane shoes. Only one cancellation today. A Delta flight from and back to Atlanta. It's been a long process for our team to be here to plow it all, but they're, they're doing well. Airports open and running as, as expected. After a smooth holiday travel season, a very well-timed snowstorm. You know, the good thing about this time of the year for bad weather is the first 20 days of January, just the slowest time of the year. On one of the very slowest of all those slow days. It's Tuesday, the slowest day of the week for travel. So if this storm, you know, thank your weather guys. They planned it well for us. Today's the day we want snow. Plenty of empty seats on tomorrow's flights for Samuel and the guys to switch on to. Switching not even an issue for Nate, whose train for New York left just about five minutes late. Are you going to miss daddy? Yeah. I bet he will. Here at the airport, meanwhile, about 96% of flights scheduled so far this month have operated, which Scott Miller says is pretty good for a January when we've already now had two snowstorms. Live at HIA, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News. Thank you, Seth.